Yesterday in our church service, I began a series of sermons based on Michael Frost's book, Surprise the World. I talked about how as Christians we should live questionable lives. That is to live in such a way people ask us about why we do and say the things we do and say. Maybe why we don't do some of the things that we don't do. When we're asked these questions, we are given a wonderful opportunity to share a bit about our faith with others. And so this week in our daily thoughts, I want us to continue to dwell on this idea of living questionable lives. And we're going to do this by looking at the life of Jesus. Jesus is asked well over 100 questions in the Gospels. Some of them come from the disciples, some from ordinary people, some from the Pharisees. Some are questions that people ask him about questions that he has asked them. And each time someone asks Jesus a question, he has an opportunity to share the gospel with them. This week, we're going to think about one of these questions each day, focusing not necessarily on the answer Jesus gives, but rather looking at what it was that Jesus did or said, which prompted someone to ask. Let me start with a fairly simple example. Let me read to you from Matthew 9. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, it is not the healthy who need a doctor, but those who are ill. Now, okay, this question wasn't asked directly of Jesus. It was asked of the disciples, but he answers it. And I love his answer to the question. It's really important, but it's not the answer we're interested in today. Today, we want to know what prompted the question. What was Jesus doing that caused the Pharisees to ask him a question to which he was able to give such a wonderful answer? He was eating. He was eating with tax collectors and sinners. Maybe that's something you do all the time. Maybe your best mate works for revenue and customs. Maybe she's also a bit of a liar. So she's both a tax collector and a sinner all in one. I don't know. But what's important for us to remember is that tax collectors and sinners, these were the worst people in society. Jesus was eating with people that others stayed away from. It was bad company, a bad influence. Jesus would have been seen guilty by association with them. There would have been lots of good people, upstanding, law-abiding, God-fearing people who would be wary of spending time with Jesus because of this company that he kept. Stay away from him. He eats with the tax collectors and sinners. If you think that seems callous or unfair, think about what your friends and neighbours might think if you spend all of your time at parties with drug addicts. If you spend every night eating with prostitutes, if you spend all your days sitting by the road with homeless people, they too might begin to say, there's something a bit strange about him. Jesus cared for and spent time with people that others ignored or looked down on or cast aside. Jesus brought value to the lives of those that others believed to be worthless or worse than worthless. Because of the way that Jesus treated the lowest in society, he gets asked questions about his God-given mission. Because of the way this teacher spends time with those that others see as unworthy, the Pharisees come and ask him. He's living a questionable life. I wonder whether there is a pattern that Jesus sets here which we as his people should be following. Is the way in which you treat the lowest in society questionable? 